Hey, what's going on? This is The Confidence Magnet here with another great video. In today's video, we're going to talk about failing your way to success. Now, why am I talking about failing your way to success when all you want to do is succeed your way to success? Well, I'll say this. Failure is... Failure is success's twin brother, his evil twin brother, and if you look at it a certain point of view. We have to fail first before we can succeed. When you study, you read your information, then you say, here, test me. You get a few wrong, you find out what you got wrong, you get a few right, you remember the ones you got right, and you readjust. That's how we usually function as human beings. When we were babies... We didn't know anything. We looked around. We took our surroundings in. We crawled. Then we learned how to stand. Then we learned how to walk. Before we learned how to walk, we kept falling. We got up, rebalanced, took another step, fell, kept repeating the process until we were able to walk. Pretty soon, you're getting into trouble, getting into every little crack and crevice in the house, raising hell having your parents chasing you. And as you get older, you get stronger and stronger. Then you learn how to run, jump, flip, or whatever it is you allow your body to do. Us humans, we function by failing. This is how we learn. This is how we succeed as well. So if you're going to shy away from failure, then you're not going to grow. Because when you fail, you know what you're doing wrong. When you're always succeeding... And then you fail, then it's going to be like, what was going on? I, I, I don't know what to do. You kind of get scared. But when you fail, it's like you've been there already. You're like, okay, I've been here already. So what do I need to do to get myself out of this? That's the reason why a lot, that's the reason why a lot of people, when they, um, when they get older, like let's say that they were attractive all their lives. Then they get older, their looks start to fade. Then they start to become down on themselves. They're like, okay, I have nothing to live for because... The thing that got me through life is not there anymore. But if you had to kind of learn how to fail your way to success throughout life, you wouldn't rely on that one thing. You wouldn't rely on your looks. You rely on personality, your abilities. Um, looks, they start to fade, but those things that kept you in the person's, in, in the person's interest and in the person's life, it's, it still remained. It remained the same. So let's say that you're one of those people that you can you know how to make a person laugh, but your legs get blown off in war. This person will still be by your side because you made them laugh. You made them feel good about themselves. There's a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad that I highly recommend. I'm pretty sure you've read it. If you haven't, buy the book. You don't need to go to the library and read it. I suggest you buy the book. I bought that book so many times. I, I, I lent it out. I gave it away. Never got it back sometimes when I lent it out. And I had to rebuy it. I, I probably bought it three or four times. That's how good the book is. But in that book, they mentioned, because the guy, he, he had a, um, a problem with rejecting. He was a salesman. Um, the, the author, Robert Kiyosaki, he was a salesman at, um, at Xerox. And he had to knock on doors. This was during, I think, the... 80s or 70s or something like that he had to knock on doors and ask people to um you know he had to sell pretty much doing the the cold approach so he was knocking on doors knocking on on these businesses doors and asking them if they would like to buy you know products from xerox and he had a problem with rejection so his rich dad his father his, his rich dad is actually his father's friend he told him that if you want to get past this fear of rejection you got to fail faster. So he told him to, after he worked at Xerox, get another job and um, working in um, telemarketing. I think it was telemarketing. So you know how tough it is with telemarketing. You, you are constantly failing. So he failed a whole bunch of times and he failed fast. He got probably 100 no's within a single day. So every single day he heard his no. Then he finally got a yes. Then he started getting more yeses. And this actually helped him with his day job at Xerox. And he actually became one of the top salesmen in the district. And it became at that point that he said, this is when I know that I've succeeded. 
and now it's time for me to move on. So he actually quit his job after he became the top salesman at Xerox. He quit his job and he branched off on his own. He became an entrepreneur, an author. Um, he created a bunch of um, products through the Rich Dad Company. And once again, that's a book that I highly recommend. The stories in it, it's his own personal stories, things that he's been through. And it changed my life and the lives of many. And I think it's still number one in... Um, was probably still in the top 10 in the, in the New York bestsellers list. So what's the moral of the story? Failing your way to success is not an evil thing. Actually, it's something that you need to do more often. Now, if you know someone that they have the answers and they can help you along the way, it makes it that much easier. And failing isn't that hard because you don't have to figure it out on your own. Anyway, that's for me today. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my mailing list and get your copy of the free ebook, The Confidence Skyscraper. Links are in the description box. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and share this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.